Catch Me has been one of my funnest novels to write to date, and I consider it an ode to longtime Lisa Gardner fans, and that I'm bringing back all the characters from my previous novels. Catch Me will feature, of course, my returning character, Boston detective Dee Dee Warren. She has been summoned by her own victim for once. A young girl has approached her on the streets of Boston. All of her friends have died been picked off each year, same day, same time, year after year after year. Until now, Charlene Grant is the only one left standing, and it is about to be the same day and the same time. So Charlene Grant would like Dee Dee Warren to start investigating her own death that she believes will happen in just four days. As Dee Dee Warren undertakes this task of trying to proactively stop a murder on her town, she gets to team up with such characters as Pierce Quincy, my former FBI profiler who living in Oregon, who is hired to do this profile of the string of murders, trying to find what is the common denominator, who could possibly be killing young girls each year January 21st, right around 8 p.m., no sign of forced entry, no sign of struggle, no sign of trauma, on the bodies that all have been suffocated year after year after year and as Pierce Quincy will tell you his favorite detail and afterwards at one of the scenes the killer stopped and fluffed the sofa pillows. One of the murders also happened in Atlanta which will bring back Pierce Quincy's daughter Kimberly the Atlanta FBI agent who's trying to handle that investigation and also Roan Griffin from the Rhode Island State Police and also one of my novels, The Survivors Club, who handles the Rhode Island investigation. So we have a whole string of returning detectives coming, all joining forces to try to uncover this long string of killings in an attempt to prevent and save Charlene Grant on January 21st. But Charlene Grant isn't going to let just the police have all the fun. She figures someone is out there is hunting for her and how already has her in her sights. So she's doing what she can to keep herself safe, which means she has hired JT Dillon, my burnt out ex-Marine from The Perfect Husband, to train her in self-defense and firearms. She can now box and she's pretty sure she can outshoot, outfight and outrun anyone in Boston. So you will have to join her and see if she can survive January 21 because as she will tell you, someone out there is going to kill her, but he's got to catch her first.